श्री मात्रे नम वी आर इन धनुर्मासम द मदर ऑफ द होल यूनिवर्स गॉड एज भू देवी इनकानेटेड हर सेल्फ एज गोदा देवी ऑन दिस अर्थ एंड विथ हर अबंडेंट कम्पैशन गिफ्टेड एज अ स्मॉल येट पावरफुल ट्रीटाइज नेम्ड तिरुपावे रेंडरिंग द पाशुरम्स इन द फेस्टिवल मंथ ऑफ धनुर्मासम इज कंसिडर्ड अ ग्रेट डीड ऑफ पुडियम It cleanses our inner souls and leads us towards attaining salvation. Dr. Ramesh Krishna, an exponent in Telugu, Hindi, Sanskrit and English, has been a teacher, a classical dance exponent and researcher. A pravachana karta, he offers discourses that have been telecast in Doordarshan, Sri Venkateshwara Bhakti Channel, All India Radio and many other channels. This multifaceted personality has delivered a series of speeches on tiruppavai especially for our dtv devipuram and darpanam tv surabhilam media channels in english please do listen and enjoy shri matre namaha welcome to the viewers of darpanam tv surabhilam media dtv devipuram and all tiruvadigale sharanam trying to know about the secrets that are hidden in tiruppavai the tiruppavai that was given as a boon to all of us by none other than goddess godamata so in this process today we are going to learn about the fourth pashram so let us render the pashram first and after that try to know the meaning ari marai kanna onnu ni kai karavel அழியுள் பொக்கு முகந்து கொடார் தேரி ஒழி முதல்வன் உருவம் போல் மெய் கருத்து பழியன் தொழுடை பர்பநாபன் கையில் அழி போல் மின்னி வலம் புரி போல் நின்றதிந்து தராதே சங்க முத தசரமழை போல் வார உலகினில் பெய்திடாய் நாங்களும் மார்கழி நீராட மகிந்து ஏலோம்பாவாய் ஆஸ் வி ஆர் ஆல்வேஸ் ஸ்டில்லிங் பகவான் இஸ் ஆம்னி பிரசென்ட் everywhere we can see the shadows of Bhagavan if we are able to see. he is present only problem with us is we are unable to see them so today godamata is going to show us the presence of god everywhere so today she is giving some orders to the god of rain that is varuna deva and she is calling him and telling him how he has to rain see what power does she have to give some order to varuna deva god of rain because now she is uh, the great devotee of uh, bhagavan when you are a devotee of bhagavan everyone is under your control because your great god your great bhagavan is the master of everything in the world whoever are there in the world everyone is a so went to him so when you become so dearer to your bhagavan then you will be also become a master on all these people so that is the power that she is getting today if we also do that one we also can become the masters of the world are him rai kanna she is calling god of rain one ni kai karave expand your hand like this ari yul pokku mugandu koda arth eri you expand your hand in such a manner that your hand goes into the depth of the water and from inside you take out the water because when the water goes up then only it will be able to rain it is it not so but you don't take the water only from the surface just like that 
you go into the depth of that one and get what is this going to the depth whenever you are studying something you also should try to go into the depths of the inner meanings of that book or whatever you are treatise whatever you are studying then only you will get the real knowledge the real wisdom will be like that only so tiruppava is also one such treatise where just by reading the words and just by getting the only surface meaning of the words you are not going to get anything but when you try to understand the inner meanings that are hidden in tiruppavai then only you will be able to get the real knowledge about your favorite bhagwan so she is asking god of war rain you go into the depth of water ajiyulpo and fully drink that water and when the tummy is full then make a sound oh that means you are so satisfied now uri mudal van uruvam bol me kar then what will happen your body also will become just like the body of our favorite god our bhagwan shriman narayan he is also black nilamegha shyam we call him so he is just like dark cloud you are of course already cloud so your body becomes like that what is that meaning when you know about almighty you also become like almighty brahma vid brahmaiva bhavati that is what our upanishad says when you know about brahma that is the ultimate god then you will also become like him don't think that you will become him like him is different becoming him is different so he'll become like him that is what she is saying first pajiyan toludai parbanaban kayil and you will have that long hands whatever our god is having our bhagwan is having that aji pol minni valam buri bol nin radind just like he is having one discus in his hand that is the chakra yadha we call him sudarshana chakra and whatever flashes come from that chakra yadha that means the discus like that you will also show some flashes from there we get no some flash from the dark clouds so that clash is none other than the flash that is coming out from the sudarshana chakra which is lying in the hands of bhagwan vishnu then valam puri bol nindra dind and he is having one crunch on the other hand which is called as panchajanya so whatever sound comes from that panchajanya like that thundering sound should come from you so one side those flashes other side these sounds the thundering sounds what is the thundering sound that comes from the kroncha that is called as the pranava nadam the nadan that is a main origin of the whole universe so that is what we should get from that valam puri pol indra dind tajade shangam udatta sarama jai pol and without any delay you should pour some water like this as the arrows come out of the bow of our bhagwan when shriman narayana was fighting on behalf of the all the gods then the bows your the, the arrows used to come from his from his bow which is called as shangi like the drops of rain you just look at the drops of rain how much it will come one after one one after one one after one like that they are coming no like that these arrows should come but those arrows kill the people 
but your drops should give happiness to all of us that is what you should do what i will like in the painting doy then what should you do they you should not tease the people people should feel happy just by seeing you just by touching you so when the rain comes everyone should feel happy like that you should nangalum margalini rana mahind we are also ready to get that happiness in this month of margasirsha masa and we all will be so happy to be like that durga like that our godamata has seen everywhere presence of god everywhere she is seeing seeing the light seeing the thunder seeing the clouds seeing the rain everywhere she is seeing god so that is what we should learn from this pashram jai shri manarayan